Mark Healy is as comfortable in a recording studio as he is in the small west central Wisconsin town called Durand. You know, I know everybody and it, it's kind of nice. Here you can still find a barber, a bar, and a bakery all on the same street. There's this mindset that's a little different than other places and uh, it turns out to be my mindset. <laughs> And Mark is a little bit different because not everyone is part of a legendary rock band. People know the songs, but they don't, they don't know the name of the band. The band is Badfinger. Back in the 70s, long before Mark was a member, their songs were bona fide billboard hits. No matter what, uh, day after day, come and get it, uh, baby blue, If they sound a bit like the Beatles, that's no coincidence. They were a protege band that followed in the wake of the Fab Four, and the first group signed by the Beatles' Apple Records. Paul McCartney wrote the first song for the band, um, Come and Get It. And uh, then George Harrison produced the Straight Up album. The Beatles and Badfinger were often intertwined. Around that same time, Mark Healy was a teenager growing up in Wisconsin's capital city. Man, it was fantastic. I grew up in the west side. It was a definitely exciting time. I mean, when, when the riots were going on, the Mifflin Street block party, I think the police gave everybody 30 seconds to disperse. And then within no time at all, they were just shooting tear gas in. It was against that backdrop that Mark found his musical footing. I know when I was 14, I got into this band called The Fine Young Men, oh, except we had a girl singer. We had an agent. We played uh, on the weekends. I had to wear glasses, you know, because I was 14 and we were playing in these bars. I didn't want to be rich or famous or anything. I just, I just wanted to play. And play he did. Mark found his way to Los Angeles and into recording studios, engineering music for television shows like Magnum P.I., did some music for a show called Gilligan's Planet. Did a, did a lot of a lot of Hanna Barbera stuff. Did a lot of cartoons that never went anywhere. The group Badfinger wasn't going anywhere either, trying to overcome the suicides of two original band members and financial problems. Lead singer Joey Mulland had an idea. Decided to put the band back together and take it on the road. Uh, um, so we started looking for players. Mark was recommended to us. He came to my house and I thought, yeah, yeah, this guy's it, yeah. It's now been more than 30 years and Mark is still performing the hits with Joey Mullen's Badfinger. No the songs still stand up today. When he's not touring, Mark is usually here in his recording studio. The studio keeps me busy all the time. I just produced a, a guy named Ben Brooks, who's from Portsmouth, England. This one that I did for Ben has got uh, Michael Bland playing drums. Michael was a uh, Prince's drummer. Greg Inhofer, who worked with Bob Dylan, is the keyboard player. Mark also engineers his own music. Well, I've got a solo record out. It's getting played in 55 countries, and you know, and there's like between 20 and 30,000 airplays every every three months. He brings energy. He brings his heart. He brings his voice which has improved greatly over the years, I gotta say, and... <laughs> a voice that takes lead vocals on an original Badfinger hit, 
featuring the Beatles' George Harrison. And keep your ears open for him because he'll always be around and he'll always be doing something and it'll always be something good. I found this path, you know, to, to make my living and to get through life. I think things worked out quite well for me. You know, I'm very happy. <laughs>